Hi, I'm Terry Dunn, the Music Director of the CCOC. We have had to adapt our programming here this year due to COVID and adapt to new technologies. And I'm pleased that we have been able to bring in some wonderful new artist educators to work with our choristers and students this year. While I take a step into the background to give the center stage to these artists who will be working online with our students to do wonderful creative projects, I will return to be working with the students when we are able to do things in person. But for now, over to you, Kira, to share what is to come. Hi, my name is Kira Milan, and I'm the new artistic team leader of the Canadian Children's Opera Company. I wanted to share with you what our wonderful team of artists are doing in this changing landscape to meet the choristers with flexibility, creativity, and vision. This fall, we have been inviting the choristers into the art form of opera and all of the other art forms that that encompasses to broaden their understanding and to enhance their skill set as performers. We have engaged them in composition, creation, movement, design, and healthy self-expression through embodied singing. Please, please. You know what, I would say yes, that was pretty good. You guys were good. I would say yes, you convinced me. All right, next. Artistic practices like these have never been more important. They can support us, ground us, and offer a healthy place for self-expression. I am very proud by how the choristers have persevered and been flexible during this difficult period. It's been hard on them and us emotionally, financially, socially. Our artistic team are determined to receive the choristers with compassion, understanding and care. When faced with no performance opportunities this fall, it was imperative to get our choristers some opportunities to perform in as safe a way as possible, namely the recording studio. So our PCs and YCs this fall will be participating in performing on a new release with the rock band My My Sugar. And another fantastic partnership we are thrilled about is collaborating with Verite Films. Verite Films are the makers of Corner Gas and Corner Gas Animated. They are launching a new animation and performance brand that will both be live and animated this season called Jeremy Fisher Jr. The Ruby Chorus, the Butterfly Chorus, and the PCs will be invited to sing with Jeremy on his Christmas special this December and will be returning guests throughout the season. We are also thrilled to embark in another project with them in creating an animated short of one of our beautiful songs, Connected. We look forward to welcoming the PCs and YCs back in January to dive into two new operas, Lewis Murphy's opera from Glyndebourne, Belongings, and an opera that the PCs will create themselves. My name is Andrea Donis, and I am the Junior Division Head, the conductor of the Ruby Chorus and the Intermediate Chorus for the Canadian Children's Opera Company. This year we have an exciting season. Um, the Junior Division Choirs, the Butterfly Chorus, the Ruby Chorus, the Apprentice Chorus, and the Intermediate Chorus. We will be creating an opera project titled The Mysterious Musical Mansion. And all of our time at home has allowed us to have this time to explore our homes, which creates a really unique connection between the choristers and our fictional mysterious musical mansion. We will be exploring music and dramatical arts pieces. And as we do that, we're going to uncover some Canadian treasures, uh, history and culture as we explore, which is really exciting. At the very end of our opera project, we will be joining together all of the choruses in the music room, which will finish with a very special moment of all of us together. We are really excited that we have a commissioned work by Canadian composer Peter Philman that we will be performing as part of our opera project, and we can't wait to share that piece of music with you. In addition to our opera project this season, each individual chorister in the junior division will be creating a process folio, and this will be a memorable keepsake for each chorister um, to remember their skill development, their progress, and document their creative process throughout the season, which is very exciting and something new this season. We look forward to sharing with you our final opera project, which will be a virtual performance in May. We can't wait to share it with you. Hello, dear families of CCOC. My name is Hezhen Kwan. I am the pianist for the YC. I am a classically trained pianist who specializes in vocal coaching and vocal collaboration. I work with singers ranging from young students to professional opera singers. I coach them 
on variety of repertoire in multiple languages, and on their musicianship. My job is to help them realize their artistic goals. Hello, my name is Anne-Marie Cabri. I'm a teaching artist following a career as professional ballet and contemporary dancer on world stages. This fall at the CCOC, I've got the pleasure of teaching these students about how it is to move and build self-expression. We're using the principles of brain-compatible dance education. So the classes start with a series of eight full body movement patterns, and they build one on top of another, bringing full coordination to mind and body. It also calms the nervous system and um, really keeps them in line with being able to be spatially aware of themselves and of them in relation to others. So for instance, I gave all the choristers a thin piece of plastic and the challenge was to use the concept um, movement energy. So can you sustain movement and make it completely quiet? Or can you use sharp energy and make it very noisy? And then these types of movements translate right away to the outside world. So in having a soft and careful, mindful movement, you're perhaps needing that to take care of somebody. You are needing a strong, um, stepping forward type of energy if you are to present on stage or if the students are in class presenting. And um, they are taking these challenges fantastically well. And I hope that we will develop more as we go through the rest of the fall. Hello, I am Tina Fey. I am the pianist for the principal chorus, um, although this year less pianist and more general music educator. Um, we have been finding lots of creative ways to uh, maintain connection with the kids and between the kids. Um, and a lot of that is, as, is through really uh, dissecting what is important with the CCOC. And a lot of that is finding ways to um, bring out the creative and artistic spark in each kid individually. And so that's kind of where a lot of our programming this year uh, has originated from. That's the, the motivation is, you know, we can't sing all together, so we don't have that right, right now, but what do we have? Um, and so we've been doing a lot of work. I've been teaching uh, IPA, which is the International Phonetic Alphabet, uh, in many creative ways to work on different languages with the kids, because in opera we sing in a lot of different languages. Um, working on basic musicianship skills like solfege and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, just trying to find many creative and fun ways to do that online, as well as, you know, some music projects. Uh, my biggest project right now is I am helping to co-write uh, a, a section of this rock song uh, with the band My My Sugar uh, to have them be able to go and record professionally with this uh, very exciting upcoming rock band. So, you know, there's there's small silver silver linings to everything. My name is Chris Thornbro and I'm a composer and an arts educator. And I'm working with a youth chorus to uh, work on some composition workshops for the month of November. So the students have been asked to write some poems that are based on the idea of community and isolation. And over uh, a five-week course, I am going to be working with them to learn about what word painting is, which is um, adding meaning to the words that they have uh, written through music, uh, whether that's through uh, melody, harmony, or texture. Um, they're also going to be learning some uh, simple compositional tools that they can use to help them compose um, as well as uh, working on some ideas about uh, how to deal with writer's block, uh, which can be used for not just composition, but when they're writing, painting, uh, whatever creative thing they're trying to do. Um, it's been a lot of fun getting to know these students. Uh, they are really creative. They are really ambitious and really, really thoughtful. We've had some really amazing discussions and I'm looking forward to how the rest of the uh, month will play out. Hello everyone, I'm Sonia Rainey and I am a set and costume designer for opera, theater, film, exhibitions, concerts. <laughs> this season with the CCOC we're exploring different aspects of hands-on exploratory and collaborative approaches to the design process and the art making that goes along with that as a set and costume designer. 
we're looking into and asking questions about how do we understand these stories and the worlds that they exist in and the bigger ideas and stories underlying them and how do we connect that to our own lives and contemporary issues to make them relevant. We're exploring visual metaphor and we're crafting conceptual mood boards that really connect the music, the story, and all the tools of design of color, texture, form, historic ornament, and playing with how we can use our own spaces and objects that we have to make that connection as inspiration. That's all kind of leading up to creating these one point perspective renderings that will be the virtual digital backgrounds for a performance of some kind, as well as creating the conceptual costume designs for the character parts that they're singing. Our goal is really to expand our creative play and confidence and deepen our understanding and appreciation of opera as a really vast and multifaceted art form. And that these experiential and exploratory ways of creating together feed into that performance experience from a different perspective. Hi, my name is Autumn Smith and I am the director of drama for the Canadian Children's Opera Company. My teaching philosophy is quite simple. It's to always activate curiosity and to empower students to be in the driving seat of their own creative process. In these unique times, that is exactly what we are going to be doing with the CCOC. Each choir is going to be responsible for the collective creation of their own new opera works. We cannot wait to share them with you in May of 2021. Thank you so much for your continued support this year with your choristers and with us here at the CCOC. We are committed to forging a new path forward in this new normal and finding new ways to continue to perform in this beautiful art form that is opera.